Hey guys, welcome to LZH Project. My name is Salman Francis and I welcome you to fourth video of our CCIE learning track. And first video today is about uh, lab setup and it's for VLAN. So at the moment you can see I have three Linux servers or three hosts, uh, L1, Linux 1, Linux 2, Linux 3 and switch uh, 1 and switch 2 you can see and you can see that they are connected Two machines are connected with the same switch and one machine is connected with a uh, second switch. Okay, so this lab setup is for VLAN and let's uh, study something. Uh, what is VLAN and how we can configure it on our Cisco switch. So for that purpose, I have already created um, a slide for you as always. So in order to understand VLAN, first we should know what is a broadcast domain. Okay, so broadcast domain by definition, device or devices which receive broadcast from device or devices in the same set is known as a broadcast domain. So basically, it is an uh, it's an area where the devices can hear broadcast of another device. Okay, so this is the area where these devices can speak with each other. Okay. So a broadcast demand can be in the same LAN segment or it can be bridged with other LAN segments. So this is very important. It's not necessary that the broadcast domains must be in the same LAN segment. Okay, as long as they can hear the broadcast of the devices, they are in the same broadcast domain. Okay, now the thing is how the communication happens. So let's say we have two computers, uh, host A, which has an IP address of 192.168.1.1 and host B, which, is, uh, which has an IP address of 192.168.1.2. They are connected in a LAN, okay? They are in local area, area network and the switches of the LAN, they are forwarding the packets. So what happens? Let's say computer A wants to send frame to computer B. Uh, frame is a packet since it's layer switch uh, layer 2 we will talk about uh, frames so or it's a packet they're the same thing so the thing is computer A sends or wants to send frame or packet to computer B now what will happen the packet will go from computer A to the compute uh, to the switch for example over here uh, Linux one if they it, it, if it wants to send to Linux 2, any packet. So what will happen, the packet will go from here, uh, from this Linux server to this switch, okay? And this switch, what it's going to do is, it's going to check its MAC table. So it has its own MAC table and it will check that either I have this address or MAC address. The reason why it's going to check its MAC address because at layer 2, the communication occurs with MAC addresses, not with IP addresses, okay? So the thing is, switch is going to check its MAC table, and if it finds the address, then it will forward the packet to that machine. But if it fails to find that address, MAC address of this uh, computer B in its MAC table, what it's going to do, it's going to flood all of its ports with the broadcast okay it's going to broadcast to all the ports except the port where it received its original packet okay that is very important and then it's going to flood everything and that I have received packet from this machine and it's destined to this machine or the next to server who has this MAC address and then Linux uh, to server or host B will reply that I have this MAC address. Okay, then this switch will write this MAC address in its MAC table. And once it has this information, the next packet, when it will come, it does not have to broadcast it. It's going to send it directly to uh, this host B. So then the communication will start. Okay, so 
we have this uh, communication occurs with MAC address when packet goes from computer A destined to computer B. The switch checks its MAC table to find the MAC address of computer B. If it does not find the MAC address in its MAC table, it will broadcast or flood the packet to all the ports except the port from which the packet was originally sent. Okay, so in short, switches will broadcast the packet if the destination MAC address is not available in the MAC table for switch. Okay, next, what is VLAN? Very simple, it's a virtual local area network. LAN, store is, LAN stands for local area network, V is for virtual. So basically what it does, it divides a single broadcast domain. We have already seen broadcast domain, it's an area where the devices can communicate and it's, uh, it divides that area or broadcast domain into multiple broadcast domains. And the purpose is security, uh, then it minimizes the number of broadcast packets and increases performance of network. How it increases the performance of network? When the broadcast packets are less, the collision is minimized and then the packets can uh, like go freely and easily and without any collisions and it results in good network performance okay security security in vlan means that we can segment this broadcast domain into multiple domains so means let's say we have our depart sales department and we have finance department and we don't want sales department to look into or go into the computer or communicate with the computers of finance department so what we want, we can do is we can create two VLANs, one separate VLAN for sales, one separate VLAN for finance, and they will and we can restrict the communication between them. And in that sense, it's going to be secure and it's going to minimize the number of broadcast broadcast packets also. Okay, so more features. VLAN is a log, logical segmentation of a physical switch into multiple switches. We can also see that like VLAN is also uh, we can segment a physical switch into shorter switches like small uh, broadcast domains or you can say we can uh, or, or you can say we can uh, divide one switch into logical or virtual switch okay we, we will see this in our uh, lab okay then VLAN allows us to connect hosts together even if the hosts are not part of the same network switch so let's say your salesperson one salesperson is sitting on in the basement and another sales guy is sitting on the third floor and they are connected with two diff or multiple switches different switches it doesn't matter how many switches are there so but what we can do is we can um, allow or like we can add the sales guy who is sitting on the fourth floor or whatever floor to the same VLAN of the sales guy who's sitting on the ground floor and they can easily communicate each other with each other so let's create VLAN okay for that purpose we have already set up this uh, lab okay first thing is I want to show you that the IP address of this machine is 192.168.1.30 this machine has IP address of 192.168.1.50 okay this is 60 actually And this has an IP address 192.168.1.40. All right. So we can check if they are communicating with each other. You can see that IP address is 192.168.1.60, and it has an IP address of. 192.168.1.50 and third machine is 192.168.1.40 okay 
So we have these machines and let's check if they can ping each other. Okay, perfect. So communication is there. Yes. Perfect. So the communication is there. This means everything is working right now. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to make this uh, machine sales VLAN 100. And this as sales VLAN One hundred, and this is going to be, um, let's say, finance, and it's not on any VLAN. So, right now we have these two machines, Linux one and Linux three, and we are we want them to make part of sales VLAN. So first thing is, we need to go on switch and let me change okay okay first thing is show vlan brief this is how you check vlans at the moment you can see we don't have any vlan we have this one vlan it's called native vlan and we will come to this after some time Okay, now to create VLAN, it's very simple. You just go to con conf t or configure terminal and write VLAN 100. Then I'm going to give it name of sales. Control Z. That's it. Show VLAN brief and you can see now we have successfully created VLAN 100. <clears throat> but at the moment, this Linux machine is not part of uh, VLAN. So now I'm going to do is conf t interface fast, sorry, ethernet zero slash two, you can see here. And switch port mode access. Okay, what is this command? Switch port mode access means, access means that this machine or this is a end host, uh, like end user device. It's not a, switch it's not a router so it's an end user device or it's a computer so that's why it's mode access if it was something else like a switch we will see uh, it's not going to be access we have to change it to some other thing we will get back to that thing in our next video when we will read uh, when we will create video for trunk okay so any, anyway this is switch port mode access so we have an access device or it's an end user device the endpoint is not a switch or a router. Okay. Then switch port access VLAN. What VLAN part we want this uh, switch port to be? Okay. It's going to be for VLAN 100. And then no shut. Okay. Now show VLAN brief. And you can see here that now. Ethernet port 0 slash 2 is part of sales. Okay, now I am going to write and save this. And I need to shut down the switch because in Eve NG Community Edition, this is how things work. Anyway, now let's check if our server 1 is still able to ping uh, 1.50. Okay, you can see it's not able to ping, but can server 2 ping it?
Okay, it's able to ping 140, it's server 2 actually, or server 3. It's not 1. Can it ping 60? Okay, you can see that it's not able to ping right now. Can our server 3 ping 150? Yes, it can. Can it ping 60? No. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I am going to create this machine or Linux 2 machine first part of uh, sales. The reason is uh, this scenario will come handy in our third lab when we will talk about trunking. So it's not a good idea to create a trunk right now. It could be uh, difficult for you guys. So what I'm going to do is I am going to make 1.50 part of sales at the moment just for this uh, VLAN lab. Okay, and this I am going to remove. Oh, let's make it finance. Okay, so now you can see that it's not able to ping this. So you can see network unreachable this is the message okay or let's keep it pinging now what I'm going to do is I am going to make the this Linux 2 part of sales group to do that same thing conf t interface ethernet 0 slash 1 Okay, and it's going to be switch port mode access since it's a computer endpoint device and switch port access VLAN 100. No shut and if all goes well, we will see a ping uh, from this machine soon. Let me write show VLAN brief and over here you can see now these two ports are part of sales and over here we great we have this thing now everything is working fine the good thing is that we don't have to restart the switch okay now on can it ping yes now it can also ping 160 perfect so this is how you set up VLAN in a Cisco switch. Okay, now back to our slides. So we have successfully created VLANs. Uh, okay, one important thing you can select multiple v, uh, like multiple ports with the range command also, and. Note, we can use range command to select multiple ports in VLAN. For example, interface range passed to Ethernet 0 slash 10 to 14 or Ethernet 0 slash 1 to 2, whatever your switch uh, configuration is. Okay. Now, only computers which are part of same VLAN would be able to communicate. Uh, others won't unless we set up a router or use L3. Okay, one thing is now you can see that uh, only these uh, computers, com computer Linux 1 and computer uh, Linux 2 can communicate with each other. However, this machine is not able to communicate. Okay. Now the thing is, can I ping from this machine to 40, which is part of no VLAN? 
no we cannot ping because the thing is it's a separate broadcast domain now okay sales is part of sales it's not part of any other broadcast domain so when we will create finance it will be a separate broadcast domain now the thing is if we want to communicate these things like these uh, vlans with each other we would need inter vlan routing uh, routing okay and that is in our future videos we will see that so that's it for this video we have successfully created uh, set up the lab we have successfully um, seen how to create vlans so in our next video we will see something new with uh, vlans pruning uh, what is vlan pruning what is native vlan and then we will see what are trunks so thank you for watching and goodbye